It's fun to use titles in a somewhat cryptic way. They can refer both to a place and to a state of mind. In this case, I wanted to position painting as a call and response. And the ho in Hollywood or in WeHo in West Hollywood is also calling out. This collection of paintings is united by this interest in framing, but framing as something you can enter and exit. So the portal and the idea of the escape hatch, the timelessness of being able to see a painting as a passage to elsewhere. Painting is a conversation. It lives and thrives in response. It's not made in a vacuum. It's completed by the viewer. The continued draw or allure of painting, I believe, is in this open surface. Painting can operate as a space that is both very precise and also imagined. So there's a constant combination or interplay for me between what I'm looking at and what I'm remembering. When I first saw the space here and I saw the balcony above the front door, I immediately thought of the balcony as a motif in the history of painting and was thrilled to see that it was blocked up because it actually opened up new possibilities to continuing that motif. This exhibition is the result of thinking about a place that I hadn't been to, and also being in a new place on a residency in Somerset where I was exposed to a rural environment for the first time. In the case of Catwalk, there's a figure that's moving in a way that multiplies itself, creates a kind of monstrous vision of movement the lack of a face in Catwalk was really crucial to me because it's really about a figure in space and all of the ways in which the blur is a part of looking and how sometimes not seeing creates seeing or when you try to break down seeing, you create something mechanical and deeply unrealistic. The letters start to have legs the font starts to have bones. There was a kind of collision between the abstraction of language and lettering and the figure herself, the figure being composed of language. I have been holding on to some images for 20 years through photographs or drawings or paintings from art history that often need an impetus or need another experience, or need another location in order to rear their heads and be ready to paint, ready to be painted. The process in the studio is very open. I deliberately keep it very open. I work on multiple paintings at the same time, often ones that look very different to each other or are exploring apparently opposing themes, but it's almost through that way of spreading out the ideas that I actually find the commonality and I start to understand the group. Inside an exhibition, there's a chance to bring things together and create new images through the way that one encounters the paintings. And the building of walls is not additive. It doesn't come at the end. It comes at the beginning when I'm conceiving of the space The idea of going around the three walls and seeing the painting responding, which is made up of three panels, well, that came from a place where I wanted this framing to be broken. Part of the instinct to go around the walls and have the pond painting split up was that it didn't align. In that way, it was always transforming. It was always being interrupted by another painting. I'm always surprised by the connections that are happening between the paintings 
There's always a degree of control when you're working within a frame, when you've made these decisions. But there is a lot that can happen that's unexpected 